What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy B. How ready? Yo, shout in. Stepping in the building. I got an artist that's tearing up the streets right mm-hmm. now as we speak. Big Boss Vet, what's good what's with up, it, sis? What's up? Oh, okay. This new single, Ice Me. Woo. When I heard this thing, I already knew what time it was. You, you know got a hit on your hand. Woo. I was feeling some franchise, boys. I was feeling some Walker in there, and I loved it. Okay. Uh-huh. Talk to me about this new banger going crazy. When we was recording it, I just knew that it was going to be a hit. I just knew okay, it. Okay, okay. The only hard part about this record was getting it clear, but anything Ooh. goes, hey. Talk to me about that business side of it, trying to get that thing clear. It's just like business takes a while because, you know, there's there's a lot of people that you have to go through to clear it. Yeah, yeah. So I think we started trying to clear it in, like, January, and we didn't finish it, like, maybe June. My so, God. But business is business. Exactly. And I commend it. I'm all right with it. I mean, vet coming out of St. Louis yeah. with it, though, man. How you feel doing your thing? Because you've been on a hell of a run, see? Hey, I feel good, though, you know, yeah. because I just feel like this is a learning pro- process for me, you know? Mm-hmm. Everything that I go through, I always get through, you know? And That's I'm right. real respected and protected in this business, so I'm so I'm good, you know? Okay, when it comes to the music, though, yeah. vet, what was it that made you get into the game? And was it difficult for you to get into the game? I come from a small city, so... Yeah. Um, it wasn't really a lot of eyes on my CD at that moment, you know? Mm-hmm. So I started doing, like, covers on Facebook. Mm-hmm. And I went viral on Facebook. And it was it was a lot of people that I didn't know that was like, oh, my God, you're so pretty. Oh, my God, you can rap. Oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, and then I had started getting jobs. You know, I started yep. doing, doing hard selling clothes, all that. And I quit everything but music. And I'm what? like... Hey, I'm supposed to be a rapper. Okay, when you find yourself going viral every yeah. five minutes, though, I mean, <laughs> songs like Pretty Girls Walk, when that thing went crazy, what Woo! was going through your mind during that time? I was like, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but we fun to do this. Yeah, yeah. Like, like this is really happening, you know? Mm. And now that Pretty Girl Walk is gold, I'm like, gosh, like, woo, it's <laughs> gold. Like, I didn't expect it because this is this this was a new sound to my, to my um, core, to my... Yeah. Cousins, you know, yeah. and when it started going crazy and I was gaining like more, m- more fans, I'm like, yeah. I didn't expect y'all to like this. I didn't know, you know. Yeah. And it's more of a commercial record, so mm. it was like I didn't know where it was gonna go at first. Yeah. But now that it's gold, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna keep on hitting them. All right, starting out in St. Louis, yeah. what was the songs that took you on the road and got you out the city though? Um, I started getting books for covers, like like I was covering songs, like I did Ratchet Twerk song to okay. the Ludacris move. Bitch. Yeah, I did Bad Bitch to mm. Girl, you looking good, won't you? Bad? You yeah. know, like I was like covering records, and they was booking me to sing them songs, and they were singing it word for word. I'm like, y'all, y'all really <laughs> like me, like yo. <laughs> so my first show that I had went on the road with, um, I was just thinking it was gonna. Well, I didn't know what to expect. Mm-hmm. I just knew like in my seat when I would grab the mic, you know, they'll rock with me, and you know, it'd be cool. When we went to this city, oh my god, it was it was it was so crazy. Like yeah. the lot was packed out, so the club was packed out. It was a little stage and the and the stage was like crowded with like people. They were like <laughs> trying to like grab my leg to the crowd, like, oh my god. Yeah. Like this is this is real, you know? Yeah. So yeah, it was that. Okay, so so far, what has been your favorite part of the game though, man? Getting all of this fame, all of this money, traveling the world. What is it that still gets vet up and going to do this thing? Or has it turned into a job yet? Absolutely not. Um, I like to work. Okay. I like to meet people. Yeah. I like to I like to create re- uh, relationships. Like yeah. I like to create bands, you know. Um I like to eat. Yeah. We be, we be eating a lot in her, you know. Yeah. Um I just love music, you know, like I love the art of it and I love being able to get on beats that people would never try, you know, because okay. I'm different, you know, and I don't have a lane. I can do everything. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Create a process, though, vet. When it's time to go into that studio and create yeah. up them hits, man, what is it that's going through your mind before you go in there? Sometimes I co produce beats. Like, like, mm-hmm. like, I would tell them where to put the drum, where to put the snare, where to put the sound effects. Like, I would tell them how I want my beat built, you know, mm-hmm. or they will be playing some beats and something to stick out to me. And mm-hmm. I'd be like, load this one up because we going to write to it. And then they just keep on looping it until I make a hook. And they looping inside, do the verse, then mm. create a whole song. Come on now. Yeah. How do you feel right now with hip-hop being a female sport at the same time? I mean, y'all out here dominating, doing y'all yeah. things out here. How does that make you feel being received like that now? I feel like this is our time to shine. You know, mm. like, everything that we want, want, want us. So, mm. 
They didn't finally let us in a uh, door. Now we own the building. And Ooh. we're never, you know. Wait, out. y'all ain't gonna give it back? Absolutely not. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's ours. You, you know what? Yeah. This has been a long time coming, though, you know? Yeah. So now, finally taking over. It's ours now. Okay, with it being a long time coming, though, yeah. how were you able to stay down all this time? Were there any times that Vet was like, you know what, all this big bossing I'm doing, I wanna go lay down and cool out? Um, I actually took a break. You know, I uh, took a break. Um, when Pretty Girl Walk was like going crazy, you know, yeah. I, I took a break from releasing music after I l- released my first project, um, Resilience. You know, I mm-hmm. took a break. I got my mental together. Okay, then, now wait, man. What was it that made you take that break, though? It was just a, it, it was it was a lot, you know, personal. Mm-hmm. It was just a lot going on, and I wasn't grounded, mm-hmm. and I lost sight of who I was. What? So I had to go back to my core. You know, I had to go through hell, and I had to go to therapy. You know, I had to be, what? Yeah, like 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 I had to rebuild Big Boss Vet to you know be the biggest again. You know, because she kind of lost her foot a little bit, yeah. but now she back. What was that point when you realized that you lost yourself? You said, you know what, this ain't Big, big Boss Vet right here. Um, I was just losing my mind, like, and then so my team, they was, they was like telling me, like, come on, vet, what you doing? Like, come on, we gotta, yeah, we gotta work, you know, pick your head up, it's alright, you mm-hmm. know. And I got me a therapist, and she just helped me through, through the things that I was going through. For okay, real. after coming out of therapy with yeah. it, though, man, yeah. what was it that gave you that resilience to be able to come back bigger and stronger and more crazier? Um, so how I felt when I first went into therapy, you know, I was in a very dark place, you know. Mm-hmm. And I didn't even recognize myself. But what? once I came out of out of therapy, knowing who I was, what I was capable of, and knowing that I'm going to take over the world, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's mm-hmm. me. We're back. Mm-hmm. Exactly. We're back. Okay, getting that deal, though, with the majors. I mm-hmm. mean, how did that make you feel when at first you was just doing covers and going yeah. crazy online in high school, and next thing you know, you got a major deal out here? I felt amazing, but I was also a little scared because mm. in my city, if they think you got money, you know they're going to take it from me. Come on now. So... I was I, I was living in the hood and yeah. I was doing her out of my house. Ooh. I was working and I'm like, if if people know that I have 13 label deals sitting on this table right now, worth more than five million put to, uh, together, what am I gonna do? Ooh. So I kept it on the wraps. You know, I I was still living regular, but you know I was alright. But I yeah. was like sourcing new places to like live because I wasn't gonna live where I was. <laughs> about to get the hell out of there. Everybody knew where I was. You know. <laughs> so. Once I finally moved and I finally signed signed that dotted line, I'm yeah. like, oh, yeah, baby, we up. 